Hey everyone, it's Mario Vegas and welcome back to the Tank Zone. Today let's talk about the ZBD-04A, which is your 7th premium Chinese AFV. First thing to mention about this uh, vehicle is it has very good ammunition versatility. Between, between TS-7 AFVs, uh, only BMP-3 M have the same ammo versatility. Uh, this vehicle has a 30 mm armor piercing discharging auto cannon, which is a universal ammunition uh, for medium to close ranges. Uh, HE auto cannon, 30 mm. Uh, good choice uh, for those uh, who are sneaky enough uh, to get to the opponent from behind and target, for example, engine compartment, uh, because uh, this uh, uh, ammunition type has good. Uh, fire chance bonus, so 100% uh, percent, uh, chance uh, for fire. Uh, nice uh, non penetration and uh, partial penetration damage rates, and full damage uh, tops at uh, 57 damage. Uh, although penetration is only 10 millimeters, that's why I'm mentioning it is mostly for those uh, who want to target uh, uh, opponent from behind or very thin. Uh, opponents uh, like scout tracks uh let's carry on with the uh, 100 millimeter he rounds uh, well it's it has as well good uh, fire bonus and uh, splash penetration 75 uh, millimeters it has non-penetration damages uh, uh, which is great to deal with um, opponents on the last bits of uh, uh, hit points left nice Partial damage rates and uh, full uh, damage uh, uh, tops at uh, 790. And uh, finally, this vehicle has uh, anti tank guided missiles with uh, damage uh, 490, which is quite low. Uh, however, penetration is average 850. Uh, so, and next thing good about this vehicle this one has uh, six special abilities. Uh, three infantry abilities, uh, top speed, override, and designated target ability, uh, which we will gonna talk a little bit later when we will gonna set up this vehicle. Uh, now let's uh, carry on and uh, let's uh, summarize uh, things about uh, sustained damage. Well, uh, anti-tank guided missile uh, damage is uh, low. It's uh, one of the lowest uh, per tier, but... Uh, we cannot change it, all right. Uh, however, auto cannon damage is uh, one of the highest per tier, and uh, talking about um, auto cannon HE and um, 100 millimeter HE rounds, uh, it is moderate. Uh, regarding penetration, all these ammunition types uh, fall uh, somewhere in uh, average ranges for for tier. Uh, same uh, I can say about. Uh, DPM and uh, same about reload time regarding uh, uh, missiles and um, 100 millimeter HE defense. If we compare this vehicle to its counterparts, to other AFVs from tier seven, then regarding hit points, uh, it is best per tier 2,450 hit points. Uh, regarding hull and the turret armor protection, only against uh, 100 millimeters HE ammunition. It has uh, some reasonable protection. Uh, rather than that, all other ammunition types uh, can penetrate uh, uh, this vehicle. 75 uh, kilometers uh, per hour top speed is a third best per tier. It's good and it will be useful when we will gonna talk about tactics. Uh, 2.2 uh, seconds acceleration, excellent for tracked vehicles, and it is, by the way, best. But tier 4 AFVs. Ultravas uh, very good, 44.27 degrees per second. And uh, basically, yeah, mobility is uh, quite good for this AFV. 30 to 35% uh, camo factor. Uh, but it's average for AFVs uh, in tier 7. Vision range uh, 460 meters is good. And this vehicle has a recon package, this one, uh, which increases your vision range by 30 meters if you stopping this vehicle. So basically with uh, when you stop this vehicle, 
you get 490 meters vision range by stock and uh, another module which is uh, improved thermal image uh, will allow you to spot uh, targets through foliage with 30 percent improvement so very good uh, regarding vision i would say and uh, with optics if you equip this uh, if we just with the optics then uh, you can get uh, close to maximum range minus uh, 3.5 degrees uh, gun depression well it is not an issue if you use uh, uh, missiles however it can be an issue if you decide to use auto cannon ammunition in close to medium ranges especially on uneven terrain or you opt for uh, 100 millimeters uh, hg ammo let's uh, do this way and uh, let's take a look uh, on uh, 100 millimeters hg accuracy and aim time um, actually it's quite all right it's moderate but for hg ammunition it's all right it's n definitely not worst one uh, but you should remember not to target your opponents uh, from large distances using um, 100 millimeters he and hoping to be very very precise and accurate aiming time will be as well quite uh, long however if you use missiles then accuracy and uh, aiming time doesn't really matter at all a uh, last thing to mention uh, this vehicle has very good uh, third traverse uh, 56.65 degrees per second which is best per tier so let's summarize pros and cons uh, what we have found about uh, this uh, vehicle it has a good ammunition choice uh six special abilities uh, good uh, auto cannon ap damage uh, good camo and uh, vision uh, good tartarus and ability to spot targets uh, through foliage uh, with 30 percent improvement uh, cons anti-tank guided missile damage definitely uh, usually we expect uh, from missiles uh, uh, damage around 800 900 even 1000 uh, somewhere somewhere closer to 1000 right not around 500 uh, especially if we talk about uh, a premium vehicle uh, moderate uh, penetration dpm and reload time uh, regarding uh, basically all of uh, these ammunition types a uh, gun depression yeah it can be an issue if you choose uh, uh, auto cannon or opt for 100 millimeters he and accuracy and aim time uh, especially is important thing to uh, bear in mind if you again opt for 100 millimeters he regarding tactics uh, this uh, vehicle can be a really another jack of all trades in this game it can do scouting uh, preliminary and uh, through the whole game it can do medium fire support uh, providing a good uh, auto cannon uh, uh, fire and uh, use uh, uh, top speed for flanking as well and uh, create havoc uh, and confusion in enemy lines uh, uh, doing uh, and playing um, uh, this vehicle this way um, i'm sure you can incorporate this vehicle in uh, pretty much any uh flanking party and play this vehicle very very good in this way um it can deal pretty much with any vehicle type and with any target type uh, let's remember about uh, ammo uh, versatility um and uh, it has 100 millimeters he well it is very very useful ammunition if you must target um, pretty much any target uh, except probably very fast moving targets uh, um, which hangs on last bits of health uh, because uh, it has uh, non-penetration damage uh, and now let's set up this vehicle i will offer three different setups uh, one setup for scouting another one for medium uh, fire support because for close uh, range fire support uh, this vehicle has not uh, good enough uh, armor protection and third um, 
setup I will offer for those uh, who would like to play this vehicle from long ranges sitting in tank destroyer spots. Well, it's not typical for AFVs, but anyway, if you would like to uh, play this way, you will have a choice. Let's start with scouting setup. For drive, I would suggest uh, off-road driving and smooth ride. For gunner, sting like a bee and sharpshoot the skill. Regarding retrofits, uh, optics, paint and active IR optics. And uh, special ability uh, would be a sniper or designated target ability. Regarding uh, commander, Sabrina or Erin. Now let's set this vehicle for medium range 5 support uh, for driver, off-road driving and smooth ride, same uh, to keep your mobility as sharp as possible, for gun accuracy and sting like B, or quick draw if you opt for 100mm uh, HE ammunition as your main one or uh, you decide to use it quite frequently. Uh, retrofits, uh, uh, breach, anti-tank, uh, guided missile control unit and optics. Uh, Special abilities, uh, uh, top speed, override, mortar, and anti-tank uh, uh, squad. Uh, regarding commander, Sabrina or Rashid. And now let's set up this vehicle for very untypical gameplay, for sitting in tank destroyer spots. Uh, yeah, it is very untypical for... Uh, especially for this AFV, which uh, has so good uh, vision uh, and uh, ammo, versatility, special ability, versatility, and, uh, well, but anyway, if you want to waste all that and sit in tank destroy spots, all right, uh, for driver, I would suggest off-road driving and smooth ride, same skill to get you to your favorite beloved one spot as quick as possible, uh, for gunner, I would suggest to do the twist uh, to increase your turret traverse, which is already good and uh, it will be even better with this skill. And sting like B or sharpshooter skill. Um, again, sharpshooter skill if you decide to use uh, HE ammunition um, in quite a reasonable amount. Uh, regarding retrofits, uh, telescope, paint and uh, breach to increase uh, uh, firepower as much as possible. Regarding special ability, I would suggest a designated target. Uh, if you sit in tank destroy spots and uh, pretty much uh, cannot uh, deploy all this, cannot use all this override and top speed, uh, then uh, designated uh, target ability will allow you to designate targets uh, which are in your range. And uh, uh, that's uh, how you can be even a little bit more useful for your team from that uh, distant tank destroy spot in the back um, uh, regarding commanders um, sabrina and rashid write down in the comments uh, how you set up this vehicle uh, which command uh, you choose uh, which skills for a crew and uh, what retrofits uh, you pick uh, and how basically you play this vehicle in the game because uh, definitely this vehicle can be played a lot of uh, different ways and that's it for today. Thank you for watching and following Tanks on. Do not forget to subscribe. I wish you a good day, peace, health, success in the game, and I will see you in the next episode.